Me? Beef. Wellington? Wellington. Hey guys, welcome back to Frenemies. I'm Ian. I'm Beef Wellington. And we are back with more Votron. I've never had Beef so Wellington. So, I don't think I have either. Anyway, so last episode, we, well, we had a rough time <laughs> uh, going against Lotor. Are you looking at what it looks like? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we went, we chased after Lotor. Keith was kind of having some issues leading and thinking straight. Allure was having issues connecting with Blue. That's pretty good. Oh, okay. Never had it. I think it's an English dish. Oh. She finally was able to connect with the blue drag, the blue lion, and something I, hey man, yeah. hey Marky. Um, she was able to use a sonar to find their way through the gaseous planet that could also you know, come explode things with anything that's fire. Uh, and then she froze Lotor's wing, and then they got away. No, they formed Voltron finally. They were finally able to do that, which we hadn't done this whole season thus far, even though we were only three episodes of still. Um, and we destroyed a bunch of planes and a giant other ship thing. And then Lotor and their people escaped. So, yeah. That's how it ended. No idea what's happening after this. This is going to be 100% fresh now. Because I knew a couple things, even though I forgot a lot. But here we are. Are you looking at just beef Wellington? I, I saw... Well, okay, so I saw one that says Ultimate Vegan Beef Wellington. And it confused me. Because this is the picture for it. Yeah, that's uh, bread dyed. Bread. It's just all bread. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> Dude, I can't wait for Zarkon to wake up and you'd be like, oh! I will pilot Voltron. And he's like, <laughs> does that make sure he makes every color except for a black line? Yep. <laughs> he's like, hey, that guess what we don't have. They're all pink. You failed me. How many people does he have? Five? Voltron? Or, Voltron? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Let me see. Including him. Mm, yes. Four. He has four with him, yes. So five including him? Yes. Oh, they could form Voltron. Yeah. Epic. <laughs> That'd be cool. Like I said, we had to start a meet here. Well, yes. Uh, well, we could make two Voltrons. Or destroy the meat. Pit them against Mother each old. Other. When did you stop recording? <laughs> well, I'm longer now. Well, well, I'll just keep talking until that thing starts up. Hopefully, it'll start up again. Hey, there it goes. Okay, so it wasn't too long. Just like the last bit. Um. How many good jokes did they cut out? I don't think we made really many jokes at that point. But, um, yeah. So Lotor's the one that's out of the uh, signal. That's uh, cool. Uh, so he had to have known the old owner. Maybe, can he, did he scan it? No. I was, I'm wondering how he got the freaking signal in the first place, because apparently it was an old <gasps> Olatan uh, distress signal that they used to use. Perhaps they boarded the ship. No, they couldn't. That's the way they could board it was like on the inside, on the other side of the portal. I don't think they went through the through it because they needed something that was similar to the meteor. Oh, uh, they said that they lost plenty of pilots doing it, so. So then they couldn't have gone through it then. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Because anything else that went through it was, excuse me, incinerated by the freaking energy thing. They also probably had some sort of signal thing device. I don't care. Yeah. I don't know. I don't care, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, we kind of saw Shiro. Shiro. He's just fed. Sven, yeah. Sven. I thought it was going to be like future Keith or something. But no. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was going to be, well, I, it was Shiro, but I thought it was going to be Shiro and I saw that he didn't have his little white stripe and was like, wait, yeah, oh, something's exactly. awry. But it's just an alternate reality uh, Shiro. It was Sven. 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 Um, yeah, I, knew, I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like, hmm, I understand Allura. Not realizing, considering the fact that one, she hasn't seen her people in, well, technically she hasn't seen them in like 10,000 years or something like that. It's been a couple. Um, and it's kind of hard to believe that 
a version of you is basically an agitator version of Gaul, the Galruns mm-hmm. in your reality. Um, although the, it seemed apparently the Galruns were kind of doing the same thing before that they stopped them, but then they decided to lobotomize everybody else that wasn't on them on their side. So, but there weren't slaves. They weren't. They were zombies. Yeah, <laughs> essentially they're the immortal army from Full Metal. <laughs> They can probably die. Well, yes, there's. Well, they're not, yeah, they're not the immortal, but you know. So they're just an army. They were just an army that obeyed every single order because they had no choice. Um, so that's morbid. Um, I mean, still better than what the Gora did. Let's be honest. I mean, they at least don't take away their will. They just kill them if they don't listen. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't live a life in, in indentured servitude without mm-hmm. con- any control of their entire body. But what you said earlier, yes, I agree. I do believe. I do. I'm pretty sure I enjoy all five. Or yeah, actually five. I do like Lotor. All five of the the dudes on the ship. Yeah. But yeah, but, uh, the girl. I think her name is. Oh my, I don't want to make sure I got it right. Nope. It's Azor, the chameleon girl. You think mm, is that is like Tylee. a Tylee. Right. Yeah, Tylee. Yeah. I hope none of them die and they turn into good side with two Voltrons. That'd be helpful, but I mean, I don't... Dude, Hagar would be so pissed. <laughs> She's like, and I'm still stuck with Sarkhan. <laughs> Sarkhan finally makes up what I missed. <laughs> no. They have a second <laughs> You could have... Unlimited. <laughs> you could have at least taken me with you. I would gladly turn to the good side if you just took me with you. It's because as we remember, she is also an Altan. It's true. Which is weird. She doesn't look like that. I don't know, but she looks like a witch. A hag. <sighs> looks like a wizard. I also like Allura's weapon. Oh, yeah. Like a, I completely like didn't think... Thing. Huh? Uh, like a whip type thing? Yeah, it's kind of like a... Um, like Pidgeous, just it doesn't have like, a grapple bit. Yeah. It's basically like an actual whip. Um, And I didn't think... Like, I was wondering like what was going to be different if it, if she has a share of weapons. Does she? Yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't pay attention, I guess. So she has a shield and a whip? Man, that's cool. I, I, I was wondering what her weapon would be, if it would be like um, Lance's. If it basically she, I figured she was just going to have the gun like, like Lance had. Um, but it seems like their weapon still stays. It, I guess it just it depends on maybe it scans either the suit or just you know the person somehow, Probably which is person. cool. Like Basically, it, it gets a read of who you are and it's like, this will work best for you. Mm-hmm. And like the Shiro's, or uh, Keith has his sword still. And it looks cool black. Um, I don't know why, I, I, and I forgot that uh, Hunk and Pidge, where I was like, ooh, what do theirs look like? But theirs are the same. So. <laughs> Give it a season. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. They decide, you know, let's switch things up, and yeah. just, they, they switch the, she, Pidge gets the big one, which, I mean, she couldn't fit in the black one. She had, she was reaching, yep. so I don't think Hunks would work very well. Um, let's see. You know what was also funny is that Keith was actually the more level-headed this episode. <laughs> Even like from the very beginning when she was like, let's go check it out. I was like, it might be a trap. I don't know if we should. And then over here too, he's like telling the Lord, like, maybe we should think about this more. It's, it's not, maybe it's not so black and white. It could be a trap. <laughs> yeah, basically the whole time he's like. And then they get the meeting on the other side. And then it, like it's like a trap. <laughs> And she's like, we couldn't I was saying, have known. And I was saying, like, I was saying when they were inside already, he was like, maybe we should think about this lore. Maybe uh, it's not so black and white when yeah. they were talking to Hira. Yeah. <laughs> it was like the idea of just like, oh, it's a trap. Uh, maybe it's still, a trap. Still, still, still. <laughs> it could be a trap, though. Let's go through. Come back out. It's a trap. How come you've known? <laughs> How? I mean, know. she was she was homesick, and she, you know, the uh, the thought of maybe getting your entire race back no does kind of. <laughs> Um, Worst case scenario, they could have accidentally combined both realities. Like Crisis? Yeah. Just collapse all the multiverse together? Yeah. I don't think have that would work. Have a giant Altaian zombie army fight the evil dictators. Well, in, whenever, if, if it happens anything like Crisis, it's not everybody you know, will exist in the collapsed multiverse, in the collapsed yeah. universe. So and they just let everyone die. Well, I didn't say everybody. I said not everyone makes it. Guys, that's it for this week's episode of Voltron. Thank you for joining. If you want to see next next week's episode, go ahead and check out, or click the subscribe button. If you want to stick around <gasps> and see it early, 
Go to, uh, check out our Patreon where you can access all the all early access to any of our catch up series that we have up on Patreon. Uh, link for that will be in the description and in the comments down below. I jump from Thank you guys for watching again and hope to see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs>